Maybe you came across lasers in Star Wars for the first time. But actually, lasers are around us all the time. The barcode scanner in the supermarket, the old CD player, car headlamps, virtual reality gaming headsets, laser blaster games, printers in the office, laser projectors in the meeting room, laser hair removal, lighting in the concert, and not to mention that it's the origin for you to get access to the internet. So now you may wonder, what is a laser? A laser needs at least three components. First is the gain medium inside to amplify the light, then some extra pump energy like electricity, then two mirrors, one to reflect the light back and one to get the light out. The two most important properties of a laser are high power and single direction. This is Dr. Hu Wang. She is a research scientist at Irish Photonics Integration Centre, or IPIC, based in Tyndall National Institute here in Cork. IPIC has four different themes, spanning areas from photonics theory right through to materials, devices, systems and applications. Now Hu will show you how a laser is made in IPIC. In the integration theme, where Hu is, the research starts from how light is generated in theory how to grow materials, how to make a laser in a clean room called fabrication, and how to integrate lasers and other devices together to do something. So this is a laser chip we made. On each of these teeny tiny spaces there are about 10 to 15 lasers. Of course, this is way too small to use normally, so they need the packaging theme to help them put these tiny devices in a way that's easy to handle. Then the biophotonics or communication themes will utilize these devices in various applications. For more information about the research at IPIC and other technical details, please visit ipic.ie and check out their YouTube channel.